Hi YouTube and welcome back to another um, tutorial on WinCC um, from Siemens. Um, what we're just going to quickly do is uh, we looked at creating ourselves a, a faceplate in the last video. Um, this one we're just going to have a quick look at layers and then we'll continue with our um, faceplate uh, because there's a little bit more to the faceplate um, than we've already covered. Um, what I really wanted to cover for uh, uh, the actual uh, layers is if anybody's ever been involved with AutoCAD or anything similar, you know that when you're drawing uh, an electrical diagram or whether you're doing any mechanical drawings, that the drawing itself can get quite messy. So what you tend to do as a draftsman is um, you will split the drawing up into various layers. So for example, if you've got all your dimensions on the drawing, you create a dimension layer. And then if you've got a particular type of, uh, or a particular area of the drawing, um, for example, let's say you're uh, doing um, storage tanks, you may put the tanks under one layer, the pipe work under another layer, the pumps under another layer, the valves on a different layer, and so on and so forth. And what this enables you to do is to switch those layers on and off so that um, it makes it easier for you to, to draw, to see, and, and everything else. And you can also print uh, those, those layers individually. Basically, it's the same idea with WinCC. I haven't particularly made this screen very messy, but as you can see, what I've done is I've put a few buttons on there. I haven't set them to anything apart from the faceplate. Um, if we run the, uh, the, the program, you can see that we just get our buttons and our little faceplate works and it uh, closes down as well. None of these do anything different, just that last one for a faceplate. Now, I could do the same thing and I can add another faceplate in, into one of the other buttons here, which I will do now and then come back to the video once we've um, finished that. So now what we've done is if we uh, take a look at our uh, main uh, screen again, I've created yet another a little faceplate that's gone over the top. Now, as you can see, it's now getting a little bit messy. Um, we can't see the buttons that are underneath this uh, little faceplate here, and we've lost some of the things there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set them to layers. Now you always, if you go to your main screen here, you will go down to the layers and you always must have a layer zero. Okay, that is the default layer and you can't change that. Okay, so uh, always layer zero is going to be your base screen. If we go to our individual buttons here, or our individual face plates or buttons for that example, what we're going to do is go down to select your faceplate or whatever object it is. It doesn't have to be a faceplate. I'm only using faceplates for as an example. And I can now set that to layer one. I can set this faceplate to layer two. Now if I go back to the screen by just clicking anywhere on the base screen, I can turn off layer one and layer two. And that uncovers the other objects that were underneath. So I can do what I need to do. I can access the properties and do what I need to do. And then if I need to reshow those layers again, just go back onto the main screen to layers and then click layer one on and layer two on. Alternately, I could, uh, you know, set anything. So those are layers one and layer two. So let's turn those off. I could set these to layer th 3, that to uh, 3, and that one, oops, to 3, okay, so um, again I can turn those off, and then I can put one up, and I can work on object on layer 1, or I can work on the object layer 2, or I can work on the objects under layer 3. And I can put them all back there again to see. 
the layers have no effect when you're running so that when we actually run whoops I've obviously done one wrong there um, what you can do is turn these things on and off as you normally would this just makes it very simple for you to work on these objects without uh, uh, under each layer without one covering the others okay I hope that's being useful uh, those last two buttons didn't work let me just see if I can get the working and I can show you where they are back again and making them work um, the reason why these didn't work was that they were ordered on the screen incorrectly they were sent to the background and they needed to be brought on top which is why it made it difficult for us to see the other buttons below so as we see by running the program now uh, irrespective of what layer they've been put on all of the buttons now appear and they work in the way that they're supposed to work but they needed to be brought on top and these buttons uh, actually had the order of having priority to be on the top hence when we ran the program it went a little bit funny so um, yeah obviously you've got to make sure that you've ordered them correctly so that when you do press them they'll come on um, and that's basically layers um, it makes it very simple just for you to turn these layers on and off and uh, create them as a layer as we did there and then go back to the screen and have them uh, be able to turn them on and off okay that's basically layers fairly simple and straightforward just remember the order of your objects when you come to try and run them on your uh, on your program okay for now um, we'll leave it at that we're going to take another look at face plates which is really why I uh, looked at these pl face plates again um, just to show you oops I've done it again I've missed the layer out I uh, missed the order out um, but basically we will be looking at what we can do with these a little bit more in depth in the next video